tried to envision you thought you may never see Muhammad Ali taking his act to the octagon, and a lot of people out there betting on this man think he's going to realize success here tonight. Well, why would you not expect it, right? The guy has done everything he has ever said he was going to do, from becoming the Olympic gold medalist, to becoming the heavyweight world champion, to becoming the greatest boxer the world has ever seen. This guy is a fearless competitor. He has tremendous hand speed unbelievable footwork but it won't be those gifts that allow him to find success in the ufc he's gonna have to mix everything up sort of felt like he had exhausted the boxing world felt like this was the next professional challenge perhaps a case of be careful what you wish for muhammad ali gracing the octagon here tonight muhammad ali enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight that ufc championship belt So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has graced the octagon yet again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Muhammad Ali. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world. John Bones! Jones! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee right. for this one. Right. All right, here we go, folks. They have locked the door behind Muhammad Ali and John Jones, two of the consensus greatest in their craft of all time. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out, Shane. You don't get that. You don't get two guys that are thought of as the greatest of all time and not many argue with it about it. That is exactly what we get with Jones versus Ali. We get two long strikers inside the octagon trying to settle the age-old question. Is it MMA or is it boxing? We find out tonight. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice shot. Making all these shots count. Jones is in half guard. Look at him. He sent down the choke now. Look at that. He sent it up. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outside of the show in that defense. Oh, nice. Oh, straight to the body by Ali. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Muhammad Ali shot his... Oh, picture perfect 
shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Nice shot. Nice shot there by oh, Another blistering cover. Oh! He's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing fun about it. It's not fun. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try it. Jones is going for an arm here. Arm is very tight. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. you got to keep position over submission. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Huh. Round two straight ahead. Great job, guys. Same thing this round. Your ground control is unbelievable. I've never seen somebody with such control down there. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Man, that right hand is a bomb. Off the center line, slips the punch. This whole left hook. Just misses with the straight left hand. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Nice slip and counter there by Ali. Tries to work it into a takedown. That's a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, just open it up on him now. Big right hand there. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Just out of range with that strike. opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So if you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish. Oh, what a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Oh, big right hand. Nice. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Ooh, big shot, man. Jones' his nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. 
15 seconds. So there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very eager to match. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you oh, man, look at that one body shot did his opponent. That shows the power. The power of the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice. Oh, nice. Keep going with that. <laughs> Under three minutes to go in our third round. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, he heard it bad with the jab. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Circle out, circle out. Don't let him get well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a to even be on his feet right now. Jones going for the head kick. He misses there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Swing and a miss by Jones. He's wobbling now. Well, this is not a man you want on top of you. Now the elbow to the body as the ground and pound continues to be on point by Ali. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Now oh. headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. Oh, he lands the flying knee. So 
power to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion.